So Sean, you see a lot of juniors out there saying, I need to control myself, I need to stay like even keel or at a level where I'm not showing too much emotion and like if something bad happens, I can't react to it because I need to stay level with my emotions and control myself. What are your thoughts on that? Um, once again, if we could figure out how to control ourselves, Zach, we would be billionaires. Um, so you understand guys when I'm speaking about this, uh, there's not a complete level of certainty because it's just tough to be certain. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Right. But there's things that make sense to us. There's things that feel right. Uh, there's things that feel wrong. Okay. So to me, there's plenty of guys in the PGA tour who show their emotions. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I would argue that in society as a whole, we repress it too much. So by the time we show it, it's like full blown anger. Yeah. Okay, so you're repressing it, you're repressing it, it didn't bother me, it didn't bother me. It's okay if a bad shot bothers you guys. I've never met anyone who's great at anything who are happy about like sucking at it. Okay, it's, that's okay. But what you have to do is you have to ask yourself like, why am I frustrated? Why am I upset? Mm -hmm. and, and my feeling is that most people who are frustrated, they're frustrated because what they think should really be happening is not happening and that's why they're frustrated. So. They think they're this good, but they're only this good. So the problem is the distance in between that is where pain and frustration lives. Because every day I go out and play 72 hole tournament or 54 hole tournament, it shows me at the end of the week kind of what my skills are. Mm -hmm. So if I think it's like this, but I'm here, that's why I'm gonna be upset. So that means you don't see yourself well, you don't really understand how good you are. And that's not a powerful place to be either. Okay, that's not a powerful place to be either. So, you know, Letting it out is fine, but you got to let it out in a way where it's got some class. It's not affecting the people that you're playing with. And then understanding like on a deeper level, like, why are you so mad? Like, what are you so upset about? You know, does this have to do with things that are going on at home, things that are going on with school, things that are going on with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, but it shows its face only on the golf course because really you don't comment or ever confront what you're dealing with or the people you're dealing with. And so to me, the idea about getting to like full rage and full temper, you know, that's a huge problem because just go onto Google and type in what are the physiological effects. So what are the effects of anger on my body? None of that is going to be hand in hand with performance. Right. Okay. Blood is going to leave your extremities and go into your internal organs. So now all of a sudden touch and feel are going to be totally different, but you have to hit a chip shot down a slope to a tight pin. So guys, you have to kind of see yourself as a business, you know, and, and trust me, that's how the colleges see you. They give you a scholarship. It's all part of a business. Okay. It's just not good business to get angry. And if you find yourself continuously getting angry, look deeper at to what's making you so angry. And if you can't figure that out, then talk to some people who can, can help you with it. Mm -hmm. But we're just in a society now where people just don't really discuss what's going on with them. And the longer you repress something, the more power it has. So yes, should you be even tempered? Of, of course you should, but you have to understand what your why is. Why am I even tempered? That's understanding like where the game fits, your perspective, your perception, the patience, the passion, all those things that go into performance.